Just for a moment, everything's frozen, I'm gonna be yours. Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about The Other Me. The Other Me is a 2000 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Manny Cotto, cinematography by Derek Rogers, editing by Terry Stokes, music by Mark Mothersbaugh, and it's written by Jeff Schechter. Manny Cotto is best known for Next, Dexter, 24, and American Horror Story. Derek Rogers is best known for Shipwreck, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Cypher, and Cube. Terry Stokes, Mark Mothersbaugh, and Jeff Schechter have covered in previous videos that we will list and linked in the description. The film is based off a book of the same name by Mary C. Ryan. I couldn't find a super long summary and the summary I could find was basically this kid Wilf isn't doing well in school so he tries to up his grade in science by doing a little experience with these shrimp-like creatures called ocean pups and he clones himself. The film stars Andrew Lawrence, Mark L. Taylor, Lori Hallier, Hallier, Allison Pill, and Brennan Jefferson. Andrew Lawrence plays Will and Tui and Brendan Jefferson plays Chucky, and I've covered both of them in previous videos. They'll be listed in the link in the description. Mark L. Taylor plays Dad, and is best known for Homeward Bound, Arachnophobia, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Inner Space. Lori Hallier, Hallier plays Mom, and is best known for Civil Wars, Strange Days at Blake Holsey High, Star Trek Voyager, and My Bloody Valentine. Allison Pill plays Alana, and is best known for Dan in Real Life, Milk, Goon and Scott Pilgrim versus the world. It's hard for me because, well, I didn't watch them on the same day, so that helps. But it's hard for me because this movie follows Quince, which was like blew me away. And this movie is a little bit more in line with like the average decom, where it's not great, but it's definitely not like a bad, bad movie. But the music was very like Halloween Town, and that did not fit the vibe of the film at all, in my opinion. I don't think the music was appropriate for what they were doing with the film and the story. Um, if they wanted to have that kind of music, I feel like they ha the, the movie had to be a little bit more like, I don't know, mystical, fantastical, or gimmicky. I don't, I don't know. Um, Aaron Carter and NSYNC played in this. <laughs> um, there's a lot of dancing in this movie, which I don't know, like, I when I was young, if teen boys, like, did the dances from, like, boy band stuff, I feel like they would have made fun of. I feel like that wasn't cool to do. You know, like, now, if you know, like, a, like BTS, how they always have a dance for a certain music video, like, if you know that, it's like, ooh, you're cool, you know, the BTS dance. But, like, when I was young, I'm pretty sure if, like, Girls, it was very gendered. I do not subscribe to these gender identities. I'm just going to use the terms because I'm into boys when I was, in, uh, if they had done the dances from these music videos, their friends would have reamed them. I feel like, like they got made fun of if they liked boy band. Like, I feel like it was like they had to like rock and punk and emo music and you know, like they couldn't like in sync. Yeah, you know, like they weren't they weren't allowed to like it. Obviously, they could. And if they knew the dances, that's freaking cool. And I'm happy for them that they were enjoying the music by learning the dances and whatever. I mean, everybody did know that, that though. And the so I don't I don't know. But that that was my experience. I feel like the boys were s like it's still really bad the toxic masculinity. But like when I was young, the toxic masculinity like if you you can't admit you like a boy band. Like, that's how it was. I don't believe in that. I think it was trash. Obviously, hello. Um, but that's how it was. So I feel like these movies are, like, perpetuating this whole, like, ooh, if the boy knows the dance to the cool boy band song, he's cool. Which was, like, that was not how it was when I was young. But I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, that was a little, a little detour just then. Just took a little detour. Um, anyway, this movie had a lot of secondhand embarrassment, which I was not about. You know how I feel about secondhand embarrassment. It like ruins experiences for me. Uh, and then it also just wasn't like, it could have had so much more heart and it didn't. It was just mostly about the fact that like, Will was like, oh wait, Tui's better at being me than I am. But Will could be all those things. He just doesn't try. Whatever. We know. Blah, blah, blah. Um, it was dumb. Um, uh, mm, what, mm, mm. Oh, and because I wasn't super invested in this, like I have been in the previous couple, um, 
at the end when they're like, oh yeah, he can stay here. He'll just be like an identical cousin, whatever. I'm like, how are you gonna give him a birth certificate? How are you gonna get him a social security number? How are you gonna get him any paperwork that establishes that he's a human being that lives in the world, at the, in, the, in this government? Like, there's no way they're gonna be able to do any of that. So, um, this is my, my, my lack of investment in the film made me be logical and did not, I didn't suspend my disbelief. So then I couldn't be like, oh yeah, they're a happy family now. I was like, no, how is that going to work? Like, how are you going to get him enrolled in school if you can't even prove his immunizations or his social security number or like anything or a birth certificate? You can't, you can't. Sorry. That's everything I have for the other me. Mariah told me she really likes this movie, but she said she hasn't seen it since she was young. So I'd be curious to see Mariah rewatch it and let me know what she thought. Uh, because she just said she really liked it when she was young. I had not, I had never seen this. Um, Andrew is starting to show a lot of signs of like his brothers. Like they have the same like mouth, like gaping, like mouth concentration face, um, which is really cute and really funny. And he was like much like, he was like taller and like he's a little bit more grown than he was in horse sense. Cute. Anyway, my final rating is four. I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. Four fish out of ten. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is not anything, and the cry count is not. It's not anything either. They're about the same. They're the same. I'm a mess. <laughs> if you'd like to keep up with the movie you're watching, then follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll can find out what movie I'm watching when I put up videos on Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just one dollar. It's a really good time over there. Seriously, just go check it out. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, buy merch. You can't buy this one anymore. This was limited edition. Man, but you can buy a lot of others. Uh, go check it out. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do. And don't be the evil clone men about it, I guess. So I just finished video four. On to video five. Okay.